Mike. Howdy, Sean. What's going on? I'm getting drunk. We got another beer. Yes, we do. What it's do we have here? Not an IPA. Not an IPA. This is a uh, another beer that Larry sent us. It's um, from Funky Buddha Brewery in Florida. Where in Florida are they from? Um, they are from Oakland Park, Florida. Never been there. Um, have you ever had Funky Buddha before? Yes, I have. Yes. There. Um, yeah. Hit or miss. Pour into a wide mouth glass and serve 50 degrees. Yeah. Is it wide enough? Sure. Um, 50 degrees. Yeah, it's a little cold. It'll get there. That. <laughs> this is called nib smuggler um we'll have the uh, logo right there at some point or maybe right there it'll, it'll it'll pop up above my head don't worry in mike's head um it's a chocolate milk porter and it says this is the purest black that's it oh no, no this is the finest purest black period cocoa straight from the source the rugged mountains of brazil where chocolate is life we smuggled these these beans back to our brew house where they were blended with creamy milk porter and fragment madagascar vanilla beans get cocoaed up consume fresh so this is oh, only on. what did you just say what you, you mean fragrant what did i say fragrant are we going to get into this argument where, <laughs> where I can't say words that have like an egg in them? Like we know we've known this forever, Mike. Thank you for bringing it out to the whole world of like a million listeners. Uh, they, they heard you first. Yeah, but I can't hear them making fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly make fun of me in the comments. Um, so yeah, this is only this is available seasonally. Um, it's thirty five IBUs. Um, it's available um, December through February. And six three, yeah. Pairing suggestions, beer braise oxtail, Caribbean pepper pot stew, gorgonzola dolce, bison burger with bacon jam, German chocolate cake, spicy pad thai. Are you That's shitting me? That's pretty freaking like specific. Yeah, I don't... Like most stuff says, beer pairs well with chicken, beer pairs well with pork. This is like... Bison burger, burger with, with bacon, bacon jam. jam. So you're telling me that if I have a bison burger and I don't want the bacon jam on it, it's not going to taste good with it? No longer, you can no longer pair it. Nope. Throw the beer away. Dump it on the floor. Mike, do we have any of these with us? Um, no. I've never eaten any of these things. <laughs> I don't even know what pepper pot stew is. I've had German chocolate cake and spicy pad thai before. Um, I've never had spicy enough pad thai. Yeah, but you're weird. Why? Because you are. You explain. We're missing a bottle opener. Um, you like really spicy foods. So That's do I. That's bullshit. I used to like really spicy foods, and now I don't really like sp- really spicy foods. Or my... I, I do, but... My body doesn't. Neither does my tongue. Um, I have not found the spicy enough stuff yet. Yay! Let's open his beer. Have you ever had habanero sculpin yet? Or have you had crime yet? Yes, we had. Oh yeah, we did. Was that spicy enough? It was not. It was fucking weird. Yeah, I know. All right, let's pop this bad boy open. Yeah, crime was horrible. That was me and you that drank it. I think we did it on a podcast, didn't we? Yeah, we didn't even finish it. No, we're we like, didn't. We're not drinking this. Yeah, it tastes like... Fucking... Thanks, Larry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Guthrie. All right. Let's give this a pour. Yes, sir. Here you go, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, it's dark. Not... Black. It's kind of got an amberish hue with the light in it. It's pretty black. Yeah, but it's yeah. I guess you're. It does not smell like um. It smells like coffee. Very much like coffee and uh, like um. Mike's like sweet malt. Mike's gonna hate it. <laughs> it, it. It's mostly coffee on the nose. That's so weird. It doesn't say anything about coffee. Yeah, well, it's a milk stout. So. It says cocoa bean. It's a milk porter. Yeah. Okay. Okay, milk porter. I think it smells fantastic. It, yeah, it smells coffee. Little, little chocolate. Chocolate. Very, very, very sweet though. Dark malts. Yeah, there's like a definitely like a burnt kind of. Uh, oh yeah, you always get the I get the burntness. Um, yeah, like, like a burnt coffee almost. Getting like um. I'm getting there. Um, obviously sweet caramel toffee, which you Yeah, get. just just normal, I guess, yeah. 
It's mostly I'm getting a lot of uh, it's like a sweet sweetness and a lot of coffee. I get like the sweet milk stout t- smell too, like yep. you get from the most of like the super sweetness. The left hand has the same thing, yeah. Alright, um, cheers. Time to taste. Hmm. Huh. You don't get the coffee that much. No. no. It's so strong on the nose. You get way yeah. more chocolate on the on the palate. So I'll be honest, right up front, I was expecting not to like this beer, and I just from looking at it because the last couple of funky Buddhas I had, they were their like fruitier beers and they were sweet, and I just did not like them. Um, this, this I can do. Yeah, this I can do. I could definitely not like more than not. I, it's good to split a twelve ounce bottle. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's it's tasty. It's sweet. It's like definitely it'd be cool with like after dinner drink. Mm. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet. It's got like it's a little bite, in the, not a little bite, but a little like. Knowing this would have been nice is after that meal we had at uh, the restaurant. Like, uh, a oh, bit. that would have been delicious. It's been a nice way to finish that meal. I think. Yeah. Um, I'm liking this way more than I thought I was going to. Mm-hmm. I said to Mike, this may be the first beer that both of us don't like on this. On this, but uh, a funky Buddha. They're weird a lot of times. Yeah. You know? In the name, they're funky. Yeah. Have you ever had a cocoa milk porter before? Uh, I have beer beers that taste, you know, in this wheelhouse. Hmm. It's a really nice tasting beer. Yeah. There's not a, like um not, nothing really offensive on the the flavor palette, you know. It's smooth, it goes down smooth, there's no like harshness in the back. No, it's it's pleasant. Um it's just just tasty. Yeah. There's nothing like like overly crazy like like the narwhal is like a lot of balls when you're drinking it. Yeah. It, it, you know, this is much more just like, like an enjoyable kind of a it's semi-sweet, like kind of a dark chocolate kind like, of thing going. Yeah, I was expecting it to really be super, super sweet. Mm. Like overpowering. Yeah, and some of the roast. It's a, like, You can definitely get a little bit like the burnt kind of a like yeah. roasted coffee a little bit. Um, but, it, but it's subtle enough for you to... Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it's, it's certainly fine for me. Yeah, this is... my, my issue is, is when you have a beer that tastes like black coffee. Fair enough. You know, like... Like whenever anything says coffee, I'd be like, "Well, you won't like it." And <laughs> I, know, I, always, I know, I do it all the time. And I always like, do. Yeah, I yeah. always like it. The only one I didn't like is is was it the the um the KBS. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, maybe maybe we should do that um that Eugene Porter Agent Coffee just to see. We'll try it. Yeah, yeah. we'll try it. Yeah, but the, I'm, I'm this is this is a pleasant surprise. Hmm. It's really nice. It's um. Yeah, I. I yeah, what would you? I'd, uh, <laughs> hmm. I'm so glad I have a second bottle of this. I wonder if this would age. I don't know. Nah, it's too sweet. I don't think this is like something you would really get too much out of. Yeah. Um, I just want to drink it now. Actually, I think. Carrie- um, what would you give this? Um, I like it. I, mean, I, would, I would give it probably a four, four and a quarter. Mm. I'll go with four and a quarter. I'll meet you right at, right at the same spot, four and a quarter. I was expecting to give this like a two. Um, I unfortunately, like when you said Funky Buddha, I said, ah, okay. You know? Yeah, I know, but like. But <laughs> and then I, then I opened up the beer after it by accident and it said 91. Yeah. I was like, ah, shit. <laughs> Maybe it is going to be really good, but like, I don't know. There's other Funky Buddha. Like, I, I, I bet if I look up the last. The last, the last funky boot I had, there's probably going to have like a 91 or 95, and I'll be like, I don't know. Yeah, but so. I didn't expect them to go fucking nuts on a no, I guess you're right. stout, you know? Oh, this is really good. Yeah, this is tasty. This is yeah, really pleasant. Wow. Yeah. You know, and, and I usually like my my stouts to be fucking nutty. I like my imperial yeah. fucking of course. ball busters, you know? So... So yeah, Nerd Sense four two five. I'm Sean, and I'm Mike, and this, this is Nerd Sense Drinks. Drinks.